Practices such as tillage and baling reduce crop residue on the soil surface, affecting the amount of water available to grow a crop. Water droplets striking the soil surface and water flowing across the soil surface break soil aggregates into fine individual soil particles. These particles wash, settle into, and block surface pores causing the soil surface to seal, preventing water from soaking into the soil. Crop residue reduces the de detachment of fine soil particles by water droplets, resulting in less sealing, more infiltration of water into the soil, and less runoff of water from the soil surface. The residue also slows down water that is running across the soil surface, resulting in even more infiltration of water into the soil. As the sealed bare soil surface dries out, it forms a crust, which is much more compact, hard, and brittle than the soil beneath it. Evaporation from a residue-covered soil is less than evaporation from a bare soil because the residue shields the soil from energy from the sun and reduces air movement just above the soil surface. In summary, the residue-covered soil stores more water than the bare soil because of better infiltration of water into the soil, less evaporation of water from the soil surface. If rain and or irrigation are limited, the crop on the residue-covered soil will grow and yield better than the crop on the bare soil. Avoiding tillage and leaving residue in place may conserve up to 5 inches of water per year, contributing significantly to crop yield and the bottom line.